Hey there, everyone. This is Zhao Cow playing Mario 3 Aesthetic. No coins, no points. This is the very last map of the game. And honestly, that tank level is gonna be a complete and utter nightmare. Now, the feedback I got after the, like, two videos ago, the first time I went through a tank level. By the way, you cannot put to sleep. Do I have another? I don't have any interviews now. But also, clouds don't work. Like, you just get whisked away anyways. So, the feedback I got after the last tank level was that it's no fun for everyone to just see myself destroy myself with micro edits at every second. And I get that, so... Oh, this is going to be a problem. But I still want to give it a shot, so all I ask is to let me give it a try. It is now 9.49 a.m. If by 10 a.m. So, basically a time limit of about 10 minutes. Whoops. I feel miserable, or I think the video's not going anywhere, whatever. Like, I will just proceed to L through the level instead. But I want to give it an honest try first. And I feel like giving it 10 minutes is absolutely a fair thing to do. Whoa! How did I catch it back? What? Doing <laughs> it against that cannon in the. of the bullet is like perfect to be exactly in a way like like this was like made to be very hard like on purpose somehow that kind of made it past there and I'm not past my 10 minute limit I'm like five minutes in recording wise and here's just a big old player of guys with wrenches just very bad treatment of your tools here like feels a little wasteful wasteful is not the right word I don't know what's the right word to use I'm riding underneath an airship that's above the tanks of course that would happen like, it's the kind of thing I'm so used to do casually, but no, like, it'll make me get points. And so it is the absolute worst thing that could happen in the universe. Alright, be careful here. You don't just want to hang out in the corner where it's safe. It's too safe. It's gonna be... I'm gonna put a safe here because I suspect we will have more boom booms. Boom booms, bomb bombs. Basically the same thing. Alright, so past here more or less, yeah. Uh okay, that's interesting. So uh 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 then jump on a bullet. Got it. This is interesting setup. I don't know if it's actually interesting. Who wants to say Ah! I need to throw way earlier, like, I barely have time to hold these guys here. And But the problem is I'm jumping in that direction, too. So I need to throw backwards. I need to, like, uh, but make it. Is that gonna be good? No. I need, like, I've always had a save three. That has yet to change. Ugh. Yeah. Whoop. I want to put the save closer. Ah! That.
do I make it out there? I'm gonna save after my first through. Because, like, it's rot, I know what to do. Oh, okay, it's like... Uh, I can there. Okay, just give me a second here. Okay, it, it won't... Wait, now that worked? I've tried before. Oh, I did it! Oh, and I'm right at the end, too. There you go! I am only four minutes over budget. And the most struggle was at the end, though. So, there you go. That wasn't nearly as big of a nightmare as it was in the first stage of Tanks. But maybe it's because I got used to the idea, too. Like, that's just extremely possible. I'm pretty darn gosh sure that Bowser's Castle is not gonna be any problems, but I mean, I could be surprised. Watch out for the laser breath! So this level's kind of a maze, but basically it's just take the furthest door you can and you're gonna be fine. I might bring myself power-ups in the future, because now I've got... I'm Like, my inventory is just cluttered with them. There's one up there, so as long as you can make it here, you got unlimited tries. Uh, did it. Alright, here's like the hard part. Because you just don't know when a potabo might just kind of fly off of the spaceship made of lava just for you. And here we go, we're here now. We can go inside this door. I think the first one has lasers, but every other statues are completely inert, and I'm not sure what they mean. Oh my gosh, it's like a sweet Mario 1 reference here with the Bowser fireball, except you're on unstable fish paste, so have fun. Gotta jump around in the sun. Look at that door. Oh my gosh, it's Bowser! Oh, what a sound effect. Alright, are you... Yeah, so like in the NES version, Bowser doesn't have a hurt box on his body, only on his head. Which is kind of funny that his main gimmick seems to be to try to land on you and smush you. Like, considering like that's how you kill him and all, but hey, no one's perfect, Bowser. Especially not your teeth. They seem kind of crooked to me, I don't know, like they're kind of weird, anyways. Bowser, what a fool! You just smashed the floor, now you're dead! You just fell right on through! This, you made a landing so powerful! I leaped out of the air just due to the vibrations that sent out through the foundations of your castle! I did it! The monk made it through eight lands bent on killing him, and or giving him physical rewards. Uh, and then he meets the princess in this giant room that has access to gigantic windows. Thank you, but a princess is in another castle. Just kidding! Ha ha ha! Bye bye! What a beautiful end to this play. I bet the crowd was just doing flips and jumping jacks all across the amphitheater. Because see, the real story of Mario 3 is that it's a play. And so I got a map and some new, like, little setups. Look at that. You got the kicking frame there. Really putting his back into it. Hammer Bros has got a saw. Everything gets darker because of the water filter we put in this game. And look at that, we're gonna duck and maybe the Big Island Turtle won't see me again. Check it out, it is the sky. Yes, Lakitu is in the sky. He's floating up right in the sky. Turning around frame because it's cool, it's kinda neat. So you always see the part of map where the castle is, which is not necessarily the most iconic part of the castle. I mean, doesn't the NES version of this have like a whole bunch of unique like frames? 
like a shot of like Mario like swimming, but like you know, like in the water, like outside of the water, like on the surface of the water. You don't get a credit or anything. It ends at the end, and that's it. You press start. You press start. You can save and quit. Uh, if you start a new game in the NES Mario 3, your inventory is full of P wings. That's right, P wings. Next time. I don't know if it's gonna be great video. But considering the looming end of the A side, I believe it is a project that I have to do. So I'm doing it out of a personal sense of duty, not necessarily a sense of entertainment. So, uh, look, you're allowed to complain. It's fine. I get it.